Yo YouTube, welcome back to Kenny TV. And in this video I'm gonna be talking about the sublimation essentials that you will need for your printing business at home. So check it out. If you like this kind of content, subscribe, comment, drop a question, smash the like button. I drop a video every Thursday, whether it be about sublimation, tutorials. So tune into next week. I'll be talking about free software that can actually start doing some graphic designs for your sublimation printing business. So stay tuned. We're about to go over all the essentials right now. So yo, this is probably one of the most important things that you will need, and that is your computer, whether it be a desktop laptop tablet i even heard phones but definitely i recommend if you're going to be doing graphic designs printing out some stuff some kind of desktop laptop or a tablet is what you're going to be using so that way you can send a design to the printer which we're about to go to next so this is one of the printers that i converted this is the epson series workforce 7840 you can check out my video I converted this step by step and this is what the print will come out and these are 11 by 17 paper what I'll talk about next but this is one of the printers that I have for sublimation this is for bigger prints on the graphic design I paid less than $300 for this it might went up now since everything's getting back in the business uh, if you check out one of my other videos, this is the Epson Equal Tank series. You can convert any series of these. If you watch my video, very easy tutorial. Um, this is only smaller prints, eight and a half by eleven. But you know, you can definitely still be creative, still come out with some good quality prints. And once you sublimate it onto whatever equipment or products that you're going to be using it'll definitely turn out nice no complaints using this printer at all i use both of these printers you don't have to have both printers you can have one whatever is in your budget but definitely these are going to print out your design this is an eight and a half by eleven um you can still do your research on this using a subs there's other sublimation paper out there that's pretty good I have no complaints on these these come out very well on the design of the t-shirt and this is the bigger size a subs for the for the bigger printer 11 by 17 and you can actually get some good big graphics there's nothing wrong with having a smaller printer and there's nothing wrong with having a bigger printer but make sure whatever printer that you have you do your research and this is the garment right here this is probably one of the best blanks let me get some more light it's probably one of the best blanks out here for sublimation this is a jersey's 21m and that's a hundred percent polyester it feels like cotton uh, definitely check out my other videos I have how to sublimate onto a t-shirt tutorial on this right here and this is an underrated essential that you'll need is a lint brush because once you start printing your design and about to put it on your garment you need to lint brush the area to get all those fibers up the whole point of the lint brush is to do the area you about to sublimate that way once you put your design down and heat press it you won't have those kind of fibers looking like a light bluish type color or streaks from your prints. So definitely need one of these for your sublimation business. Now we're going to talk about the inks. Uh, shout out to Cosmo Ink. Um, this is again, this is not a affiliation or commission, but this is very good quality ink that I'm gonna be going forth with. And this is for the Equal Tank series. It'll come in a nice box like this. And that was for this printer. I could actually still use these inks with the syringes for this printer right here. This is actually the actual kit, conversion kit that I bought. 
and just go on in here real quick if you look at my video I take you step by step it came with the refillable cartridges it came with the ink and it came with the syringes with the tips on them right there but you know I got backup chips so just in case so just keep in mind if you decide to convert your 7820 or 7840 series that it can be a little pricey I'm still trying to figure out a way to bypass this next up coffee you know you probably need some scissors it's good to have that way you can cut out access white around your print on your design once you lay it down here and the reason why when you heat press your design you know you want less as possible unless you're doing a full sheet that's understandable but the less you have the better it will come out and just make sure you don't cut all the way off you just leave some access and like you'll just outline this with the scissors so it's good to have some scissors and next up yo you will have your heat transfer tape and not a big fan of heat transfer tape but it's good if you sell into a customer you'll lay this down on top of your garment after you heat uh, give it a light heat press and and then brush everything basically you'll just tape four sides you know onto your garment it's good to have a t-square handy that way you want your work to look as professional as it can be the center the most center of your garment okay uh, you'll also need butcher paper and this is this natural butcher paper it's from meat huggers uh, this butcher paper out there you can go online and research uh, as far as pricing so this is not a shiny kind this is natural butcher paper if you happen to run out of butcher paper and you need butcher paper to to actually protect your garment and your heat press you can use normal copy paper not the premium copy paper where it has the shiny sign just natural copy paper as well you can place it over design you know protect your garment it will protect your uh, your heat press plate and also you will have to put it inside the t-shirt the butcher paper to protect the back side from the ink not going all the way through okay so just watch my other video got a tutorial on that I'm gonna jump into the heat press and this is my heat press that I have it's a 15 by 15 definitely you see that's the rubber piece uh, gets the job done I mean I'm still able to get big graphics on it it got settings on it there you can actually set it up it does get very hot so the butcher paper is to protect the top part of this plate and this right here as you can see is Teflon paper so they do have covers that you can put at the bottom and covers that you can actually put on the top to give more protection um, if you if you can get those I'm gonna get one eventually but I will be upgrading my heat press but this right here is Teflon paper and then once I have everything laid down I also got another Teflon sheet that I put on top of the garment and that way when I press down on it you know it try to protect from getting the edges on there so this is pretty simple it got your pressure how tight you want it and you can do your settings you can set it up I gotta set it up for 285 to uh, four seconds uh, I mean you can actually do vinyl and sublimation but this is for sublimation so basically your settings needs to be 385 to 400 at a 60 second press so this is my setup that I have this is pretty much the basics 
Uh, you can always do your research and check out what works for you as far as price range. This is the essentials that you need. I'll leave a description and the links in there. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to next week. Subscribe, 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 and have a blessed day. Peace.